Okay, so we'll move into our meditation, but before we actually like totally get into it, let's all stand up and just like stretch real quick. Literally just like one minute to do as much stretching as you need to. So, because we want to be as comfortable as possible, obviously, for the meditation. But try not to like get like too, too hyperactive, you know, just do like soft stretches. Stretch your bum. Stretch your bum. Me personally? Me personally. That's my idea. Just try to touch my toes. That's. Dancer. Yeah. All right. So um, once we're ready, let's all just sit back down. And uh, this meditation is just going to be not too long. Um, I won't even tell you how long it's going to be because I can't really know for certain, but I promise it won't be too long. But it will be pretty cool just in the sense that kind of going back to like what Bob was talking about earlier about having like a child like imagination or perception. Uh, I'm actually going to work with that within this meditation as kind of something that I've done that I have like practice with before personally and also like teaching as a meditation but it's like this idea of um it's a guided meditation basically and, and you can think of it as like journeying uh in that sense so opposed to just saying like sometimes we do this sometimes we're just like just focus on your breath and then i'll play the singing bowl for five minutes and then you're in that space wherever it is that you choose to be for this uh I, i'm going to like tell you a bit of a story but it's going to be an interactive story in the sense that you're imagining it within your own mind for the purpose of practicing your imagination so for the idea of like flexing your mind flexing like the parts of your brain that you might not really use all the time so to speak and uh that can be a very beneficial thing just to like get more in the habit of doing so <clears throat> all right again just get nice and comfortable as comfortable as you possibly can that is the intention behind this <clears throat> So again, just if you have any, if you need to, just roll your shoulders. Let go of any tension, any ideas that you might be holding on to prior to experiencing this. And just allow yourself to be as open as possible to receive whatever experiences come your way through this practice, through this meditation. So with all meditations, we're just going to begin by syncing up and focusing on the breath just being as present as we can within this moment by connecting with our breath, the one constant that connects us. So with a gentle inhale through the nose, just an exhale through the nose. And again, gentle inhale through the nose. Gentle exhale through the nose. Just continue to find your own rhythm. As you inhale, just feeling the air fill, fill your lungs. And even from here, just beginning to use the imagination with the inhale. Imagine energy it can be a color, a blue, perhaps a nice, cool feeling. Imagine that filling your lungs. And on the exhale, imagine that energy moving out through your body, down into your limbs, to your hands, your fingertips, your toes. If you want, you can try experimenting with this being a warm energy as well. You can imagine it as a color red. This in itself is a life force energy. It is what we breathe, it is what we are. So with each breath, just allow yourself to become more relaxed. The more still you become, the more you allow yourself to be in a place of reception, it allows you to be more accurately tuned in to those parts of yourself that are otherwise inaccessible should we not be still within this moment. So again, just connecting with the breath, allowing yourself to relax.
for this meditation, I will be playing the singing bowl. And I'll start that now. And the singing bowl will be there. And you can focus on it at times if you want. Once it gets to the point in the meditation where I'm not talking, you can use the singing bowl as a tool to bring your focus back into the present moment <coughs> in the same way that you can use your breath to bring you back to the present moment. So again, just gentle inhale, gentle exhale. Just finding that stillness, being able to become more familiar with what this space feels like for you with part of the intention to return to it in the future. And the more that we become familiar with this space, the more accessible it becomes to us, the further we can explore, the more we can see of ourselves. So like I said, for this, for this meditation, we're gonna be using our imagination. So with your eyes still closed, imagine going back to what our friend Andrew was talking about. Literally, we have this body, and then we have the etheric body, the astral body. Imagine that you open your eyes of your astral body, and you see a field around you. And the sky is beautiful. And the grass is underneath your feet. You can be barefoot, obviously. And just take in as much as you can with your sensory perception within this space that you create for yourself right now with what it is that you're creating. What does it feel like? What does the air feel like against your skin? A nice, cool breeze. What does it sound like? You can hear the sounds of the blades of the grass moving. What does it smell like? You can just allowing yourself to tune in to your multiple sensations as much as you can. So with the ground underneath your feet, begin to move your toes in the grass. Feel the cool earth beneath you. Those bare feet in the ground allow you to connect directly to the energy of the earth. You can feel the roots extending from underneath your feet into the ground as the energy from the earth comes up through those roots into your body, up through your legs, up into your core, up your spine, and back and around to your heart. As you breathe in, connect with that energy. So you begin to walk you begin to move your feet forward at a pace that works for you. As you do, becoming more aware of the texture of the ground underneath you. In the grass, perhaps some of it is higher than the rest and you can reach down and you can touch the plants and the blades of the grass as you walk past them. What does that feel like on your hands? Imagine as much as you can the texture of a single blade of grass between your fingers. You know what that feels like. By remembering, you are bringing it into the present moment of your reality. Continue to walk forward. Continue to look around. Perhaps there are birds up in the sky. Perhaps new sounds you're beginning to hear new smells that you're crossing paths with. Off in the distance, you begin to see the tree line of a forest. 
continue to move towards it. And at this point, as the sun moves from behind clouds, you can feel its warmth on your skin. What does that feel like? As you get closer to the forest, you notice the difference as you begin to move underneath the canopy of the tree. As you move into the shadows, you feel the cooling protection of the darkness. And yet, the sun is still shining. And the forest is vibrant with life. Continue to move through it. And at this point, just continue to use your imagination. What do you see? What does this forest look to like to you? You can choose to make it as magical as you can, as magical as you choose. So you continue to move forward, and you see animals, you feel the change in the texture of the ground, you can feel the stones and the wood and the branches underneath your bare feet. Off in the distance, you begin to hear the sound of running water. You continue to move towards it. Along the way, you see some berries on the side of the road. If you'd like, you can walk over to the bush. You can grab some of the berries and you can taste them. What they taste like is something that you can ask yourself. Perhaps they are blueberries, perhaps there's some other type of berry. So if you'd like, you can take some, put them in your pocket and save it for later. Continue to walk forward, moving closer to the sound of the water. As you do, you can begin to feel a moisture in the air. You can begin to smell the difference. And you begin to realize that that sound of running water is coming from a small waterfall. You can see it off in the distance, past a few more bushes, behind another set of trees, as you reach the edge of the small lake that surrounds the waterfall. With the sun still in the sky, you can see a rainbow arch through the moisture in the air, hanging there majestically. At this point, you just take this in, look around you, and begin to walk forward to where the water rises high enough to the ground. And the ground is slightly muddy. You can feel the nice cooling texture between your toes. Your water, the, your feet move into the water. You can feel the water move over your toes, move over your feet, up to your ankles. And you begin to walk a little further. And as you do, the water slowly rises its way up your calves, up to your knees, up to your waist, and your fingertips touch the water for the first time. What does that feel like? And as you continue to move, the water goes up no more than past your waist. Yet you have a choice to walk into the waterfall should you choose to. So standing here with the water still at your waist, you can feel the water bouncing off in front of you, the sound, the moisture against your skin as your hair even continues to dampen. So just connect with this moment. And this is where I'm going to let you choose what you do next. So from here on, your intention for this meditation is to be in this space that you've created for yourself, 
to have that choice to walk into the waterfall and to use that as a place to continue your meditation, to become as aware as possible of the water you are in. And of course, you can even go underneath it completely. And of course, since this is your imagination, you can get as creative as you want. Do not feel restricted to your breath. Sit under the water as long as you choose. And of course, do not be restricted to the thoughts of gravity. When you are ready, you can rise up from the water and explore even further as you choose. So again, with the breath constant, your body relaxed, your mind attentive, focused, and engaged, and yet equally relaxed. Create this experience for yourself and allow whatever comes to you. Just continue to breathe. Continue to connect with this moment. Continue to practice your meditation. So wherever it is that you are right now, continue to be there. Perhaps if you've wandered, bring your attention back to the breath. At this point, slowly return yourself to the water. If you happen to be flying around, then you can gently float yourself back in as the tips of the toes enter first. Whatever experiences came to you, to be able to remember them, be able to see them as something real, something that we can learn from over time. So let's leave the water behind us and begin to walk our way back through the forest and back out into the field. And the sun's still there. The wind is still a breeze. In this space that you created, just know that this is a place that you can return to. You can go back to that waterfall on your own terms. It may be something as simple as connecting with the breath wherever you are.
Let's take another breath here. Allow that calmness to be recognized, stillness to be remembered. Take another few breaths. And slowly begin to bring awareness back to our physical body. Slowly as possible, we'll move our toes as slow as possible. As slow as possible, move your fingers. And with no rush at all, Take a few more breaths, and when you're ready, gently open your eyes and return your awareness to the room around you. So again, no rush, take your time. Oftentimes when we come back from a meditation like that, we have to give a little bit of extra time for our astral body, our etheric body to return to the physical body. So just take that time as you need it. And just enjoy yourself while you're here. Enjoy the company of the room. Enjoy the experience that you've created for yourself. So we'll end the class and I invite people to walk around and talk to each other and to officially end it as we normally would, we'll just end with Namaste. So to everyone here, Namaste meaning the light within me sees, honors, and respects the light within you. So to everyone here, once again, thank you for being here and Namaste. Thank you. Awesome. Good job, team. <laughs> The singing bowl? Yeah, no problem. Um, this one I actually got at Sunfest, but you can get them at Mandela Bookshop or Tribal Mountain. Oh, I, I have some. I was just wondering if you. Oh yeah, eh? yeah, yeah. It was from Sunfest a few years ago, but it's like I mean, it's got like seven medals, two, right? which is like because it's from.